All right, guys, today we are going to go over the Labor Day sale and we're going to see if that $229 brushless M18 kit with a free 5 amp hour battery is worth your money. The M12 weighs 1 pound and 7.9 ounces. The M18 weighs 1 pound and 15.5 ounces. The M12 with the battery weighs 2 pounds and 5.5 ounces. The M18 with the battery weighs 3 pounds and 8.3 ounces. You can see for obvious reasons because the tool is smaller, the M12 weighs far less than the M18 does. We're using Hilti Nutsetter bits, using Makita bits, the specific bit is the T40. We're using Husky Low Profile 3 8 sockets. We're using the Makita socket adapter and the Milwaukee socket adapter. If you guys want me to do a quick video on these sockets, I will. I recently just got these and I love them already. We're going to do a 6-inch timber lock, a 5-inch ledger lock, a 6-inch flat lock, a 3-8-inch lag, a 4-inch by half-inch lag, and a 6-inch by half-inch lag. And if these tools can do it, we're going to do an 8-inch by half-inch lag. Model number is 353-20. It's a $139 tool only, 12-volt tool, $229 as a kit, 1,500-inch pounds of torque, 4,000 impacts per minute, 3,600 RPM, and a 5-year warranty. M12 does have a speed selector, 1, 2, 3, and self-tapping. Battery is full. 4 amp hour battery, try LED beams on the front and it is a quick insert collet, 3.97 seconds. Number is 2850-20, $149 tool only, $229 in a kit, 600 inch pounds of torque, 4,000 impacts per minute, 3200 RPM and a 5 year warranty. Single LED underneath the collet, it is not a quick insert collet, you got to adjust the collet for the bit to go in. 5 amp hour battery, battery is full, it's a variable speed only. M18 for the win with 3.20 seconds and the M12 is 3.97 seconds. That's still not far off you guys, for a 12 volt tool it's not bad at all. 1.93 seconds, 1.97 seconds, and as you can see for the win is the M12 with 1.93 seconds. Let's do a 5 inch ledger lock. 3.77 seconds. 3.17 seconds for the win M18. Followed by the M12 with 3.77 seconds. 2.29 seconds. 1.73 seconds for the win with the M18. Next, let's do a six inch flat lock. 2.97 seconds. 2.48 seconds for the win. And as you can see right here, the M18, it technically is winning, but it is barely winning. These 12 volt tools are extremely powerful. 1.83 seconds for the M12. 1.63 seconds for the M18. And the M18 is for the win with 1.63 seconds. Let's do a six inch by three eighths inch lag. 9.06 seconds. Six point fifty two seconds for the win with the M eighteen. Nine point zero six seconds for the M twelve, which still is not a bad time. Three point sixty five seconds. The M eighteen for the win with three point ten seconds. Next, let's do a four inch by half inch lag. 9.95 seconds. 6.61 seconds for the M18. And the M18 is for the win. 3.17 seconds for the M12. Two seconds for the M18. Not too shabby if you ask me, you guys, that M12 is keeping up with the 18 volt tool. Next, let's do a six inch by half inch lag. 9 quite there, yet. just a smidge. 15.42 seconds for the M12. 12 seconds for the M18. And the M18 is for the win. These 12 volt tools nowadays are so impressive. 6.86 seconds for the M12. Batteries at three bars. 4.55 seconds for the win on the M18. 
All right, next, let's do the eight inch by half inch lag. Let's see how well these tools actually perform. It's struggling. It's struggling. See, like, this is something you would use an impact wrench for. You wouldn't use impact drivers for this type of stuff. Is it there? Nope, a smidge more. Fifty-three point ninety seconds for the M12. Hey, I'm just impressed that it did it. Of course, the M18 is completely dominating on this one. Fifteen point ninety-seven seconds for the win with the M18. Eleven point zero eight seconds for the M12. Seven point twenty two seconds for the M eighteen and the M eighteen for the win. Let's take temperature really quick. One hundred and thirty degrees for the M twelve. Two bars remaining. And one hundred thirty two degrees for the M eighteen and the M eighteen still has full bars. Let's do dimensions really quick. It is 126.4 millimeters for the M12 in length, 129.2 millimeters for the M18 in length. And if size is the issue, obviously the M12 would suit you best. And next let's test out the tools width. M12 is 50.5 millimeters and the M18 is 56.2. And 50.5 millimeters for the M12 for the win. Let's just do a quick test on these lights, you guys. Let's see which one lasts longer. And the height for the M18 with a five amp hour battery is nine and five eighths inches. And the height with the four amp hour battery is nine inches for the M12. All right, so the M12 got its butt kicked by the M18 older version. The M12 kept up with the M18 for most of this test that you'll actually use an impact driver for. When it comes to those bigger half inch lags, you wouldn't use an impact driver for that because the impact driver can only do as much as your uh, socket adapter will. That socket adapter is not gonna last long at all. If you keep doing a half inch lag with that, the one tool you need the most for half inch lags is an impact wrench. And the video's coming up soon. I'm gonna be uploading impact wrenches again. I haven't done an impact wrench in a while. In my opinion, the M12 kit is still more worthy than the M18 kit when it comes to these two tools. The M12 kit includes a hammer drill, which this is not a hammer drill. Versus video coming up, so please subscribe to the channel for that because I am going to be uploading this soon. Still, even though the M12 lost for the size and weight of the tool and for a 12 volt tool, it's very powerful. I wanted to give a huge thank you to the members of the channel. I seriously appreciate all the support that I get from my members. So if you found this video helpful and entertaining, please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.